What's up Jesus lovers and welcome back to Epic Journey Through the Bible. Today we're looking at what Jesus meant when he said, drink my blood. What in the world? That's so strange. Uh, my name is Pastor Jacob Cerns. For those who don't know me yet, if you're new to the channel, welcome. So glad you're here. So glad you're taking the time to watch this video. Um, we do new videos every single day on the life of Jesus Christ. And we're looking at Matthew chapter 26 right now, where Jesus takes the cup of the wine there at the Last Supper. This is non-alcoholic wine. This is fresh grape juice. He takes that cup and he says, this is my blood of the new covenant. Take and drink it to his disciples. He's telling them to drink his blood. That is so weird. Is Jesus a vampire? Like, what is he? What is he doing? What is he talking about here when he says to drink my blood? And there are other places where he says drink my blood and eat my flesh and stuff like that. And it's just really, it seems really strange. It seems really weird until we look at what he means by this. He mentioned my blood of the what? My blood of the new covenant. So what is the new covenant? See, a lot of people are taught that the new covenant is the new testament and the old covenant is the old testament. But is that really what Jesus says? No, it's not. It's not what he says at all. When Jesus is speaking about the new covenant, we've got to look at other places where the word of God talks about this new covenant. In Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 16, he says, I will make a new covenant. And Hebrews 10, 16, by the way, is in the New Testament, but it's quoting from the Old Testament. So it's linking both Testaments, showing that the New Covenant and Old Covenant are not the Old Covenant, Old Testament, and New Testament, but this is the New Covenant and Old Covenant. It's different, totally different. And we're gonna look at this here. Jesus believed in the Old Testament, Jesus believes in the New Testament. He believes in both, both are connected. He quoted from the Old Testament so much all through his ministry. So we know that the New Covenant is not just the New Testament. So what is it? Well, he says, I'll write a new covenant, but I will write my laws in their hearts and on their minds. What's the law of God? The law of God is all about love. The first four commandments are love for God. The last six commandments are love for others. So when he says he's gonna write his law on our heart and mind, it means he wants to transform us so we will truly be loving to others and to God in a perfect sense. We'll have perfect love for others and for God. What an amazing thing. That's the new covenant. That's what he means. So when he says drink this blood or drink this, this grape juice uh, to drink my blood, what he means is yes, accepting his death on the cross as salvation and allowing him to write his laws in your heart and mind, meaning uh, be like Jesus. Have the same type of love that he had. Take Jesus into you, drink his blood in the sense of taking him into you to transform you and make you more and more like him every single day. And he explains it right there. I'll make a new covenant where I'll write my laws on their hearts and on their minds. On our hearts so we want to do what's right and our minds so we believe in doing what's right and the two go together. God bless you guys. Hopefully you learned something new here. Hope this was maybe an epiphany for you. If not, if you don't already know this, but again, the new covenant is referring to Jesus writing his laws on our hearts and minds so we can love others and love God the same way that he does. So we can be like Jesus. God bless you guys. Push the thumbs up button if you like this video. Subscribe over here, watch another video there. Peace, love, and the joy of the Lord. I'll see you next time.